Good morning, everybody. Uh, to begin with the questions that I have asked yesterday, uh, I was just beginning with my expectations. Uh, the very purpose of my uh, coming to this workshop, uh, I have expected that uh, after completion of my workshop, uh, uh, I will be able to. I would like to go back and then try to uh, uh, bring some positive behaviors in my students and in my teachers. Uh, but on the other hand, the question that was lingering in my mind was uh, for the people like uh, our Guruji, uh, there is no any question because of the fact that uh, Sir has been uh, uh, practicing and then doing research for the uh, past 40 to 50 years and that my teachers, my students, and then do you think that it is the right decision for my part uh, to uh, uh, pass this message and the knowledge and information to my students? That was the question that I, I was, uh, it was in, in, in my mind. Thank you. <coughs> the um, question is basically, what we are talking about here you know, sounds very good, very nice. But is it practical? Yesterday in the group discussions, I couldn't raise the discussion. Right, yesterday night, I was. That I was exploring within myself. And then the question that I would like to ask is that uh, <coughs> before 
I ask the questions, I would like to comment on what uh, we have discussed. I think the discussions that we had for the past two days uh, was an immense uh, benefit towards the value of human. human. And it teaches that what is important to us and uh, what's the, uh, what it has been so far concentrated on and then what has been left out. So that uh, was uh, very striking uh, in terms of uh, the, it really contributes to the, uh, to become a good human being when you explore within yourself uh, coexistence of self and body. So from the human uh, level uh, point of view, and I also I think that the, uh, the universal this is going to work. And when I try to uh, reflect on what I have learned from, uh, from the Buddhism point of view, so from the Buddhist point of view, the, uh, the very first thing is the existence of the self. It's, uh, it's a non it is like uh, looking at the television. When we look at the television, there are shapes, colors, and sound. And then if there are stories, there is uh, something uh, to do with the fearful. And you also feel afraid. If there is a happiness in the television story, you also feel happy. So it, it's so powerful that it, that, that image, sound, stories, makes you feel what it wanted, uh, what it is, uh, it, it, it is so powerful that it makes you feel and share what it is we want in the television. And then when we break the television, there are no sounds, there are no shapes, no colors, it's a cable line. And when we cut that cable line, you only find some copper wires, etc. And then you follow that copper wire, and then finally find umbrella, like this, which is facing the space. So from the nothingness, from the space, we derive the shapes, we see the colors, we see the sounds, and then also it gives a feeling of happiness and sorrow. So from the Buddhist point of view, it's like a dream state. It's just an illusion. And uh, this, I think, we need to make a distinction very clear for, for the Buddhist practitioners. This is what I feel that from the Buddhist point of view, existence of the self is uh, not there. It's a kind of existence. It's just like uh, that because of the, the television uh, perception, the existence of I become very strong because there's a strong thing. Because of you, because of the others, you feel the existence of yourself. So it's like a, if there is a reality, there is an absolute. If there is an absolute truth, there is a real So that, uh, when you talk about the whole system, it should not be, I think, understood <coughs> primarily at the body and the, then the eye level, but it should be understood as a absolute truth and as a relative truth. This is what I felt. That from the Buddhist point of view, the uh, uh, self is non-existent. It's like a dream. And then when we discuss here the understanding of harmony at individual level as a human being, so this should be at the primarily at the human level. So which, if we uh, understand, uh, if we differentiate uh, that uh, we are talking at the human values level, taking the self as an existent, we are assuming the I self is existing. And based on that, if we are discussing the human values, I think it is okay. But if we uh, go into the reality, whether the I is existent or not, then it is not existent. And if we say that it is not existent, then uh, you know, it's like a movie, it's a dream stage. You see. So I think this, I thought, was need to be verified because there were a lot of questions asking me <laughs> during the day. Uh, breakfast table that isn't going as part of this philosophy, is it uh, uh, you know, right? So I thought
not that I need to share what I feel, but, but this is not necessary that uh, it, uh, this would be true to everyone. But I thought this would be very bad. So, Guruji was mentioning that we will be further dissecting on the self. So, when we, when we dissect the further self, we could get some answers from it. Thank you. First respond to his question, then come back to the question of Sashwa <coughs> See, when we talk about something being practical or not being practical, right? what is going to be the reference? What is going to be the basis on which we will decide whether it is practical or not practical? Is it on the basis that everybody else is doing it, a lot of people are doing it, therefore it is practical? Or is it that if we identify our goal as human beings, right, and it helps us to reach that goal, achieve that goal, that is the basis of deciding what is different question. One is whether it can be implemented or how difficult it will be. What kind of preparation is required to implement it? That is one question. And it is uh, important because if we see that it is doing it and then we go to do it, then there will be a lot of kind of preparation which will have to be made, right? both at the level of human beings 
and at the level of the whole structure that we have made. That is true. <coughs> so this is another set of questions. Whether it can be implemented or not, and if it can be implemented, what are the difficulties which we are going to face? What are the preparations which will be required? All those details, of course, we'll you know, uh, work it out. And we have been working out on those details. But the, the first question which you have asked is more related to whether it is practical, whether it is something doable, not doable. Something is relevant for human beings, not relevant for human beings, in particular and in general. That question has to be sorted out. Like yesterday I mentioned, some of the faculty member was telling me that, you know, this is fine, you know, you listen to all this and this is very good to listen and it sounds you know, very nice, okay. But when it comes to implementing it, you know, kind of living according to this, it is very difficult. And we have done already so many workshops in the past and we felt very, you know, euphoric about it. But when it came to implementing it, living according to it, it is not possible to live. And they also mentioned that some of the people who have done this workshop are also, you know, very enthusiastic about it, but it does not show up in their, you know, conduct. A lot of, you know, kind of problem is still there. So, I will address to this question first, then come to this second part. <coughs> of course, it is a very uh, essential thing to do and uh, when you start, it sounds very difficult. Okay. But the question is, what we are doing <coughs> in this society today, is it helping us to reach our goal as human beings? Or is it that it is not you know, helping us to reach our goal? So when I have to evaluate something as being practical or not being practical, okay. I will be able to do it on the basis of first fixing up the goal of human being, then trying to see whether that particular thing that we are doing is going to help us to achieve the goal or not. If it is helping us to achieve the goal, it is practical. If it is not helping us to achieve the goal, then it is not practical. For example, if my goal is to ensure the health of the body, then taking to drugs is not practical. Now, I cannot give the argument that 100 people are taking drugs and I am the only one who is not taking drugs. Right? So, how can it be practical? So, I, when I say, the nutritious food, taking nutritious food is practical when it comes to taking, you know, keeping the body in good health. Right. What do you think? This is practical to have nutritious food or to have drugs? Nutrition. Is that very clear? It might happen that 100 people are taking drugs out of you know, 101 people or 99 are taking drug out of 100 people. But still, what do you think? Which is practical? To take drugs to keep the body in health or to take nutritious food to keep the body in health? To take nutritious food. So this must be very clear to all of us. Right? That something which helps me to achieve my goal as human being is going to be practical. Something which does not help me to achieve the goal, then however common it might be, right, it is not practical. So if I take another example, if I have to live in relationship with other human beings, right, what is going to be of help? Living with a feeling of Respect or feeling of disrespect. Respect, right? 
what we are doing. Are we living with a feeling of respect? With each other? No. Or we are demanding respect from the others. But we don't ourselves have the feeling of respect. That is what has been done. This is what most of the people are doing. So if I don't have the feeling of respect and I am demanding respect from others and the other also does not have the feeling of respect, right? will it be possible for us to live in relationship with mutual fulfillment? But this is what most of us are doing. Is this practical? On the other hand, if I have the feeling of respect in me, out of my understanding, right, and I share this feeling of respect with you, okay, it will be fulfilling for me, it will be fulfilling for you. So we can live in relationship with mutual fulfillment. Now what do you think? This is practical or what we are doing today is practical? Then you can also ask which is more difficult to live with a feeling of respect right? is more difficult or to live with a feeling of disrespect is more difficult. If you try, want to disrespect someone or if you have a feeling of disrespect for someone, you feel comfortable with him, uncomfortable with him. Uncomfortable with him. And if you try to express this feeling of disrespect to someone, is it easy or difficult to do it? Very difficult, because he will not accept it, that you know in advance. So you have to make a lot of preparation, you know, take some four or five people along with you. Right? <laughs> because you will disrespect him, he will not accept it. Right? He might resist, you know, he might even be violent. So you need some people to take along with you. <laughs> so which is more difficult, to be with the feeling of respect or with the feeling of disrespect? So you can see we are doing things which is not practical because it does not help us to reach our goal. We are doing things which are more difficult. We understand this and understand it, not just take it as an assumption, right? Then we'll see that this is practical because it helps us to reach our goal and it is less difficult than what we have been doing. We have been already doing very difficult kind of thing. Most of the things that we are doing today, if you now start looking at it from this perspective, you would realize that we have been doing more difficult things. And it is more difficult because it is unnatural. And something which is unnatural is not practical because first it is difficult to implement. <coughs> Second, even if you implement, it does not help you to reach your goal as human beings. This you have to keep asking yourself. Okay, what we are doing today does it help us to reach our goal? Does it not? So first we decided about the goal. Right? The human being, right? the basic desire of human being is to ensure continuity of happiness and prosperity. Right? With whatever we are doing in the name of practical, right? Is it helping us to achieve this goal of happiness and prosperity and its continuity? Or is it not doing that? If it is doing it, then it is practical. If it is not doing it, it is not practical. <coughs> Number one. Number two, what you are doing in the process today, are you comfortable with it? Or you are uncomfortable with it? And you are doing it because you seem forced to do it.
either by way of temptation or by way of fear. You are forced to do it either by way of temptation that if you do it, you will get something, some benefit. Or by way of fear, if you don't do it, you will be punished or you will be devoid of those facilities. What do you think? You are doing it out of your own motivation, out of your own comfortability or you are doing it by way of some force from outside which is in the form of reward and punishment. Responding to the question which uh, Pema we had and then uh, uh, Sange had. So, <coughs> and also it's the same question uh, was there in some of the groups of the students and the teachers also. So I thought it is <coughs> good that I discuss it in more detail. So all these points are important to be clarified. Because unless you get clear about it, you are not going to start working for it. So that is important. So this was what I was trying to say that this practicality has to be understood in the right sense. That is one thing. So anything which is said here, find out whether it is going to lead us to the fulfillment of this goal of happiness, prosperity and continuity of people. Also keep checking what we are doing today. Is it leading to happiness, prosperity and continuity of the two? Uh, 
can't give me fill up the little space from this hole. I was walking down the hostel and then soon after I was I, I took yes some students walking down the hostel too. And then I asked them, where are you? <coughs> the people and then I happened to know that somewhere I think this